Hello and welcome to this PHP uh, tutorial. Today I'm going to be discussing and teaching you how to uh, use the form uh, method of post and get and what the, ver the different variations are and uh, another method how to use the get super global uh, as their real name is a super global. Okay so let's move over to localhost first of all and I've made a little um, little form it might look a bit confusing but it's just a title get and post super globals and we've got an input field here which is just here and it's got it's been given the name of entry okay so input type equals text name equals entry and uh, just put down here this input fields name is post entry or get entry that's all dependent on whether the method is equal to post or is equal to get and if it's equal to post then it will be post entry and if it's equal to get then it will be get entry that's how to retrieve and to get collect this information or the value within inside this input field and then we have a submit button um, and the name is submit and obviously if the form once again it methods equal to post then the name will be um, post submit or if the method is equal to get then it will be get submit now you can use um, the the get method with an URL as well which we'll discuss um, a little bit later okay so first of all we click this submit button and it takes us to form a underscore process we shouldn't have done that let's just refresh this okay it takes us to form underscore process dot php nice and easy and there's nothing on it at the moment because I haven't done anything on it okay so let's move over to the um, HTML and all we've got here that we actually need to look at is this stuff here so let's just get rid of all this and that's all we need to be looking at basically and this here so we've got form action equals form underscore process dot php method equals post we've got the text here and we've got input um, type equals text name equals entry so the name uh, is basically very important and then we've got some text down here which is not important to the form and you don't need it in it and we've got input type equals, equals submit name equals submit value equals submit form okay so what we're concerned about at the moment is the post me the method equals post so we're sending the information via the post which we need to if we want to collect any of these values then we need to use the post super global to collect them so let's control this to save let's come over to um, form <coughs> underscore process dot php and what we want to collect is the value with inside the entry um, input field basically so let's just echo out post entry so nice and simple all we're doing is saying and the value of the input text field um, please echo by using the post method so let's control s to save come over to this form give it a refresh put David in here press submit form to take us to form underscore process and as you can see it says David so the value of the input field um, with the name of entry has picked up the value being David and echoed it out using the post super global now if we come back to form um, dot HTML and change this to get now the the name equal to entry will basically be collected by using the get um, super global okay so nothing has actually changed with inside the form just the method has changed from post to get so let's come back to our form underscore process now to collect this information we need to use the get super global which is the only thing we need to change is the post and get now when we come back to here let's refresh this because we need to change the value of the form okay so now the input field has still got David with inside of it and now when we press for, um, submit form we click that and it comes to this page and up here what we can read this is um, where we're basically looking is we've got form underscore process dot php then we've got a question mark this question mark is basically saying let's refresh this this question mark is basically saying okay we're using the um, the get method so anything after this is going to be uh, important for any, the super global of get so entry was the name of 
um, the input field and the value was David that was entered. Well, there we go. There it is. And, and then to, to join uh, the values to extend the value, then we've got submit, which was the submit button. And the value of that was submit form. So, but we're not really too interested in the submit form, basically. Um, all we're interested in is the entry. So it's echoed out the, the uh, value of entry. Now, let's come back over to form.html um, and come to um, here where we've got this link. So let's come back to here and refresh. And we've got click to go to form underscore process dot php. Now the value of this or the URL is form underscore process dot php name is equal to John. So basically we, what we want to do because this question mark is here we are saying collect or we are using the get super global collect the value of name. So we come to here and we change this to name Whoa. and then control S to save. Now we are getting the super global of name and we are echoing out the value. So let's refresh this, click here, and as you can see now, four months uh, process.php question mark name, which is using the get super global equals John, and John has been echoed. That is it in a nutshell. It doesn't actually get any more difficult or simple than that. You cannot mix post and get. That is the only rule with inside a form. If you use method equals get, then all of these entries will be um, the get soup global. If you use method equals post, then to collect this information, they will all be post. But there's nothing stopping you with inside one page of using um, this method as well. Okay, but the, fo the form values will only ever correspond to what the method is. But you can always use the get method by looking at the URL. Okay, so you can always attach things onto it. Now, if we wanted to add the surname, all we got to do is do an and sign, ampersand, say surname equals Smith, and then we can come over to form underscore process dot php, and if we concatenate a space and put get uh, surname, and put a square bracket on the end, and then refresh, come back to here, refresh this and then click here you see now it's got name equals John and surname equals Smith John Smith so we've collected that information from the URL so get basically collects it from the URL and post collects it from the form itself now another thing is you can only put a hundred um, characters and that is in including spaces as well with inside the get super global so the name super global um, you can only put 100 characters in total with inside of that anything more and it will just cut it off at the hundredth character and that includes spaces as well so you have to be careful um, another another thing to not to use is not to use a form with the method equals get for a um, user login because basically it will send the user's name the username and password with inside the URL and you want that always hidden uh, okay so um, the get methods are good for um, sending information with inside the URL and so on and the post methods are good for contact forms guest books um, and so on anything where you want to be able to let the user um, who's filling out this form fill out with a lot of information okay over a hundred characters um, so that's basically it well, I hope you understood this tutorial um, and I hope everything was okay. Um, my name is David Thorne. You can visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de. Um, you can subscribe to my website at, on my website and I will send you up to date uh, information when I update the, the website and so on. Um, please subscribe to me at YouTube as well because it keeps me um, seeing how many people are watching these videos and so on. Um, and that's about it. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please look at it again. Please watch this tutorial again. You will understand it after a while. And the best way to uh, work it out is by practice. Um, if you keep practicing and practicing, you will understand this. And this is a key part of PHP. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. 
and uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.